Now let's talk about the MVVM pattern, which stands for Model View View Model. The MVVM pattern is similar to the MVC pattern, but it does allow you more decoupling between the view and the business logic. Let's go ahead and see the different components of the MVVM pattern. The MVVM pattern consists of the view, obviously. It does have the view model and the model. Now the view is whatever is displayed on the screen or your iPhone screen or your Apple TV screen or your Apple Watch, anything the user can interact with, that is a view. The view model in this case is the data that is going to be binded to the view. So view can talk to the view model, but view cannot directly talk to the model. The model in this case is your domain, is your main objects that is your business logic. So the view can talk to the view model and view model can talk to the view and update the view, but view cannot directly talk to the model. Only the view model can talk to the model. And sometime you need to also convert the model into the view model to display it on the screen. Now let's take a look at a few of the examples. We will be building the Good Weather app, which consists of the weather listing screen. This whole screen can be represented by one view model and we can call it weather list view model. The other screen that we can implement can be called the setting screen. The setting screen consists of few options that you can select and it also can be represented by a settings view model. This is a little bit more complicated model because the settings view model consists of the enum type unit which can provide you the Celsius and Fahrenheit, and those things are displayed on the screen, as you can see on the left. The settings view model is also responsible for persisting this information into the user defaults. By implementing the MVVM model correctly, you will end up with lean controllers, meaning your controllers will have less code, making them more testable. Now that you understand the basics of MVVM, Let's go ahead and dive into understanding the structure of the application that we're trying to implement.